It's Corbin here for AcousticWorld.net and I just wanted to share a quick tidbit with you and I'm showing you that my capo is on the third fret so you know you know what key I'm in here. Um, but this is a quick little move I got from Brian Sutton uh, but it's one of those things that once you start using it and you're playing and, and hearing it you'll start hearing it in a lot of players um, playing so Norman Blake does this move a lot too um, but it's just that. <laughs> Remember when I first heard it, I thought it was the coolest, <laughs> the coolest thing ever, and now I use it all the time without even thinking about it. So I thought it'd be cool to share it with you guys. So it's just uh, it's playing off of this C shape here, uh, so it's a great one to use in the key of C for C type songs. And uh, yeah, you can use it over the F chord too, and it'll kind of give you like an F. F major 7 type feel with that open E. But uh, anyways, it's uh, that's the basic idea and you can you can either start a bunch of licks with it or throw it in in the middle or end licks with it so uh, all it is is you're starting on this uh, well actually let's, let's start it on this note here so this is the fifth of the uh, the C, which would be just G, the high G. And then you do this kind of triplet thing, or quadruplet, I guess technically, but uh, <laughs> G. The only two notes you're picking are just this first one and the second one. And the, the rest is all hammer-ons and pull-offs, so. And that's really the, the basic gist of it. And again, there's a million ways to start it or end it. guys to experiment with that and uh, yeah let me know if that was new or helpful or if you recognize the lick uh, or if you knew it already and <laughs> that was way too easy for you but uh, that was something you know again when I learned it I thought it was super super cool and it definitely opened some new doors in my playing so just wanted to share it with you real quick and I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next video